In this video, we're going to be making a floating shelf for our bathroom out of this guy. So we're going to go ahead and make sure it's all squared up and everything to give it a good finished look. Bench it up, show you how to go and put in the slide in brackets, which are actually kind of weird. And uh, then get this thing mounted. Should be a pretty quick and easy project. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get to the build. I guess this is a build. We'll call it a build. Let's get to the build. Now the first thing we're going to do to make sure that the board is good to go is we're going to go ahead and run it through the jointer. This one's pretty square for the most part, but I always like to just make sure it's got that extra little uh, cut to it. So that way it's nice and flat all the way around. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let's go and get to that. All right, so now we got uh, one side all nice and finished. Looks really, really good. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, face joint it. So that way we got one flat side on this side. We'll run it through the table saw on the planer, and get ourselves a nice square board. Love this thing, makes quick work of everything. So now we got a uh, nice flat, ready to go board for the planer. We'll go ahead and uh, get this uh, squared up the rest of the way. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so we're all ready to go ahead and uh, plane the board. So this is our good side here. It's really nice and smooth. And this is our other smooth side here. So let's go ahead and run it through here, get it all plain, and then we'll be ready to run it through the table saw, get the final square out, and we'll be good to rock and roll. All right, so we got uh, two of the three faces all squared away, or the face and the side at least, whatever. So now we'll go ahead and take it over the table saw, square this up, and then we can move on to the rest. All right, so now we're gonna get to the trimming part of this. So, like always, use the proper safety tools and stuff on your table saw. Um, in our case, we have this off here because pretty confident in what we're doing, but ultimately that doesn't mean you should as well, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get this going. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish the squaring up process on the table sled. If you don't already have one of these, they're great to have. I'll leave a video link up here uh, for you to go and get that, to get to how to build one of these and everything. They're actually really neat. As far as this goes, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this down and get this all squared up. Uh, after that, then we're going to go ahead and uh, take it into the room, measure it in the bathroom, see where it lands on the wall because walls are kind of wobbly. And then after that, then we'll go ahead and uh, cut it down uh, to its final dimensions. And then we'll start making the mortise for in here and uh, drill the holes and call it a day. So it should be pretty easy. So let's go and get started on this part. All right, so let's go ahead and check and make sure that we're all square. Looking good. And looking good. So I'd say we achieved our goal on that. It's actually really, really good. Sometimes they look square when you cut them and they're not, so uh, it's a little overkill on a shelf to have to be this perfectly square, but hey, why not put some perfection in your work? That's really all it's about. Um, keep in mind, you could have just simply sanded this to make it look nice. Um, you could have used a hand planer to go and plane it, so you don't necessarily have to go to this extent, but uh, ultimately, if you got the tools, use them. If you don't, then there's always an alternative, so don't feel like you have to have all these tools. 
All right, now that we've got a basic idea on what we want size-wise, we're going to go ahead and find the hard little mark to find on walnut, because walnut's always fun to find marks on. There it is. So, this doesn't have to be an exact size. It gets more important when you start getting to actually putting it on the walls when you have to really worry about it. For this simple type of machining, not a big deal. Because even if you're a little off, no one's going to actually notice, oh, you were off by a thousandth or something like that. So, again, this isn't a perfection exercise. This is a really cool idea, make it look nice kind of exercise. All right, there's our final piece. This will be the one that's going on the wall. Let's get to work. Okay, on this part, you're probably gonna want a couple of chisels, uh, depending upon if you want to do this on a router. You could do this on a router if you wanted, I guess. But uh, chisel is just as easy. You're not really going down that far. You're only going down that far, so it's not that big of a deal. So we don't want to spend a lot of time working on setting up a router and all that. This is faster, typically speaking. is we want to make sure that we are not worrying about fine woodworking we want to make sure we're worrying about depth at this point so that's all that really matters so as long as we are deep or deeper yeah that one went off way better okay that's looking really good it's perfectly in the slot so no wobble a little bit of wobble so you see this one's actually the better one of the two but that's fine. As long as we're hitting the marks, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Okay, so this is the last part before finishing. So after this, we'll dry fit it. Um, but basically, um, if you have a hand drill, you can do this. You just have to be really steady. If you got a drill press uh, that you have access to, definitely use a drill press. It makes the line a lot crisper. Um, you're probably gonna have to do two passes at it, as you'll see when I'm going through this. But ultimately, basically how that works so um, we all know how drill press works so I'm just going to go ahead and just jump right into this All right, last step before we uh, go to finish. So this part here, we're just gonna go ahead and sand it down to 220, make sure it's nice and smooth before we're ready to rock. And then we can go ahead and start working on uh, throwing on the finish right after we're done with this. So let's get started. All right, she's all ready for final finish. So that'll be our next step. Just gotta get the equipment set up. All right, so we got all of our finish done on here. So now we're ready to go ahead and install it. Now we already went ahead and put in our, our pegs here. You can see there's no wobble in these and that's actually really important so whatever you need to do to make it so these don't wobble is really super important because you don't want it they kind of doing a little of this which a lot of the cheap kits that you buy at the store um, stuff like that they don't really have that stability when you put them in the wall so uh, sometimes using some special anchors that you can get from the store and not use the ones that come with the kit as an example um, 
that's actually probably the best way to do this. So anyway, put this on, it's pretty simple at this point. We're just gonna line up our holes. Just kinda slide it on there and get to this point here. It's gonna kinda pound it in place and give it a good solid whack. There you go. That's it. And as you can see, I can actually get up by holding down on that. So de um, definitely a really nice thing to have. And, you know, it'll be here for years and it'll look really nice. And any of your guests that come to your bathroom, they're going to see it and they're going to be like, wow, you know, that's actually really nice. It's really cool floating shelf. So um, they always are designed to impress. So I, uh, I hope this helps you guys out on uh, getting your own floating shelf project going. You can see there's a little bit to do uh, in the project, but overall it's really not too bad. Uh, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of chiseling, or you can use a router um, if you want to make the back. That's another way you can do it too. And then you can make a shelf that even your significant other will be proud of you for. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, stay safe in the shop.